Hello everyone. So in this video, we are going to see how we can restore the database of Suprema Biostar 2 when it is installed on MS SQL database. So backup and restore usually we require when we are migrating the server. So for now, just to showcase, I'm, already, I'm also having two servers like server one and server two. So server one is having my all data and I'm going to migrate the data from server one to server two. So let's see how we can do it. So very first thing what we what I'll do, I'll simply take the backup from the server one. So if you see currently on my server one, I'm having the Biostar 2 installed on MS SQL database. So I'm not going to show the details of how to take the backup. So if you want to see the detailed backup process, you check the recently uploaded video. So currently what I'm going to do, I'll just fast forward this backup process. Then I'll simply move to the restore process that I'll show you in the details. So just for now, I'll show you that uh, how much data I'm having on this server. So I'll just log in here. So here in the user, you can see uh, here are almost like 15 users already available in the software. So when I'm going to migrate from this server to another server on that new server, you will see all these users available. Likewise, if you have device, dose, access control or other details saved, so those details can also be migrated. There is no any specific thing that you have to do. You simply just do the migration task and the same data will be replicated to the new server. So I'll just hit for the backup process. So here I'm having the backup. So files backup and the database backup. This backup file, I have kept it in a shared folder so that it will be accessible on my server too as well. So I'll minimize this for now and we'll just simply move to my server two. So for now here, I have already installed Biostar 2 software. I just have to move the database. So what I'll do, I'll first take that backup files. So here are the backup like database and files. I'll get it here. I'll name it by start to backup. I'll paste here. Now the very first thing what I have to do before moving to anything. First, I have to stop the Biostar 2 services. Whatever the changes that we are going to do, that is well okay. But first we have to stop the Biostar 2 services. So I'll stop all the services. Also, you have to make sure the source Biostar 2 version and the destination Biostar 2 version, it has to be same. Now my Biostar 2 services are stopped. Now first thing what I have to do, I just have to restore the database first. So what I'll do, uh, first I'll do one thing. I'll make sure I have given the proper permission to this particular folder. Now what I'll do, I'll simply open SQL Management Studio and I'll restore this database. Definitely as I have installed Biostar 2 already, so I must be already having the database created. So what I'll do, I'll first drop this database, then I'll restore this new databases. So as I said, as this server Biostar 2 also installed on the same. So first I'll do one thing. I'll just delete all these databases because my source database name is also same. Now I don't have any database. I'll restore all those databases one by one.
So now I have all three databases restored here. As previous and the new database name is same, so I don't have to do any changes here in the Biostar 2 setting. Else I would need to change the, uh, like you can say the database name and all from here as well. So I'll just open it and show you. So for now I'm having this same name, this ACTA and VE database, which is the previous one. And it is, I always suggest everyone to make sure the same name you are restoring here so that it don't get conflict here. So now the database is stored. Now most important thing what I have to co copy paste back is the files. During the backup process we copy paste like we copy the several files but actually we need few files only like this in key and in key init only. So I'll, I'll copy this file once again. We'll go to the same biostar2 folder back and look for that util file and simply I just have to paste it here and replace it. I'll continue here. So now what I have to do, I just simply look for that Biostar2 setting file once again and I just have to start all the Biostar2 services again. So here it is open, I'll start this, so let's open it on the browser. For the first time it may take little time because I have just restarted the service. So just wait for a while. Okay, so here it got opened. It took little time because it's like my this server is slow. So there are like two, three VMs running. So this server got quite slow. That's why it took this much of time to load. And obviously it was for, for it was after restoration, it was first time when it is opening. So also it took time. I'll log in with the same username and password that I was using earlier. So that was B I O S T A R at the rate one one. And I'll log in here. Now, once we logged in, we must get all those 15 users here as well. So here the bio star to logged in. Now let's just go to user and see if we have got all those user details here or not. So as you can see, we have got all those 15 users back here. And likewise, if we would have like device, dose, access controller, all other settings. So we would have also, also migrated that same data here as well. So that's it how we can restore the uh, restore the database if you have any more queries comment down below see you in the next video